how to get to the doodle-like spreadsheet. Click on new under Google Sheets, click on the context menu, click on from template. This brings you to the template gallery and you can click on the doodle-like spreadsheet here. This creates your own copy of the doodle-like spreadsheet. Give it a good name. Then you want to update the dates and times here that you're willing to meet. I'm using the tab button to go to the next cell. You can delete the ones you don't plan on using. So I'm going to delete from E on. It's kind of hard to see when they're slanted like that. So I highlight all my columns, right click, and then delete the columns. You can always add more columns back by clicking on the last column and selecting those cells and then using the data fill tool to add the color and most importantly the formula and then you can change these as well. You can also add and remove rows here by highlighting right click and then delete rows or insert rows above or below. To make it easier for your guests to check off the boxes, you might want to list their names here. And then finally, you want to share this spreadsheet with your colleagues. You want to unrestrict it. You can select Stony Brook University for Stony Brook University Google users. Otherwise, for any other users like medicine or people outside the university, you must select anyone with the link. And then you want them to edit the spreadsheet so that way they can put the checkboxes into the spreadsheet. If you left it as viewer, they would only be able to look at the spreadsheet. So we want them to put something on the spreadsheet, so therefore they have to be an editor. Then copy the link, put it in an email with a very short deadline because we know that availability changes very quickly and you want to get this meeting on the calendar as soon as possible. Finally, you do not need your attendees to send this sheet back to you because you'll always have access to it. But when you do check it to see when the availability works for most people, you'll see that in the total row that it has been tallied up and that you can see when the meeting should take place.